I've been looking for a display that was light and portable and would allow me to use a pen to create on it and not slow down my writing process. I came across this ad on Facebook that advertised pretty much all of these things in this one display. I read reviews and watched some YouTube videos of artists um, reviewing the display and I thought if it's good enough for artists to create with then it should be good enough for me to create drill with. So I pulled the trigger and here's the results. I purchased the 15 inch display, the pen, the stand, and I purchased a screen protector, but it didn't necessarily uh, look very good. Every time I wrote on it, it would create a scratch on the screen protector, making it look very scratchy. So I've chosen not to use it. Stick around at the end of this video as well for a demonstration. Now, when I purchased my display, it came with this cord, which was USB-C to USB-C. And I thought to myself, um, I, I, I've got lots of cords. I'll be able to find a way uh, to connect my, my laptop to it. My laptop didn't have any USB-C outs. It only had um, HDMI and, and standard USBs. You need to use the espresso cords. So I had to get the espresso. Uh, it's a cable HDMI. Um, that goes to USB-C, so you use your HDMI and you plug into a USB. Now mine also didn't have a USB anywhere near my HDMI because the HDMI was in the back and the USB-C was in the side and this cord was very small. So this was the cord I got from Espresso, had the HDMI and the USB-C and this wasn't long enough to make it to the side of my computer. So I had to buy this extender, uh, which was like $8 or something, it wasn't very expensive. Um, to allow me to get this to the side of my computer. And then I was able to uh, connect it. Now my Windows computer um, didn't have any sort of uh, external software needed. To, it was just plug and play, put it in, the, the uh, monitor turned on, the pen worked because it uses Microsoft pen protocol. Um, but I guess with the Mac experience, you need to install a driver for the pen and for the ability for the display to become touchscreen. What I've found is that the best possible setup for me is to have my laptop to the left and my screen to the right and get it kind of close to me so that I can have it down. The screen is really good on this thing. It's very rigid so that I can write but I can have my, my other hand here to, to do keyboard shortcuts. And you'll see, um, I'll put some footage up of me using uh, Pyware with it. And it's a nice, I, I feel more organic experience writing. What I was really looking for in this display was not just to have an external monitor, not just to have maybe a work surface, but to have something I could take with me uh, when I go traveling. Because uh, during writing season, I tend to visit America, and I still need a good spot to set up shop and write drill because that's the busiest time of the year. So uh, I wanted this solution to be portable as well. The stand, the pen, the screen, and the cable uh, are all very portable, fit into your bag so easily, and it allows you to just take it with you and set up anywhere uh, on a desk, a table, countertop, whatever it might be and I think it's a, a really good solution for, for those drill designers who are uh, on the road. If you're interested, I'll put links in the uh, description to Espresso. They're an Australian company, but I believe they serve Europe and America as well uh, pretty quickly. So um, check them out. I think they're fantastic. Place the display, plug, And then my computer kind of automatically realizes it, and there we go, we're ready to write. So you can see, I've got my work surface here, 3D over here. I do use my mouse kind of off to the side, and I have it ready just in case I want to change something over on the sides using uh, the mouse kind of 3D here. So my mouse monitor is here, which is my laptop, and then I can, of course, write with this. Now what I'm trying to get is get it to where I can select tools with my right, uh, my left hand 
And then of course, uh, control C and control V, some of the other shortcuts and the numbers with my left hand. And so that's my work surface. All right, let's add some page tabs. You really gotta just kind of watch, just make sure um, that your, your, the tip of your pen and where you're going is really close. I have cursors turned off so that you don't see a dot on the thing. I think it's uh, helped me to be more accurate. Um, but it certainly is different than using a mouse. Okay, let's create some performers. Um, we'll use the circle tool. Go 24 performers. So I've got my hand resting on the display at the moment and it seems to be doing quite well. I can still use the pen with my hand resting on the display. Sometimes though, it does um, mess up a bit. Let's change this to two so that it's um, good. So now you can obviously go back and forth, look at the 3D. I can use my mouse if I need to, to kind of change the thing, change the perspective there. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, 24 performers. Let's do um, the dot tool. We'll blow these guys up a little bit. I'm doing this mainly to show off uh, how accurate it is with um, the dot tool. And as you can see, um, sometimes you can get a miss, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I've got my hand resting on the display now and I'm not getting any extra marks here, which is quite nice. Okay, so that should be a nice little transition there. Kind of opening up as we go. Okay, um, let's see, where can we go from here? Um, so let's do an arc, why not? 35, 35, bring it down, clear. So I'm just trying to show you ways of, um, you know, using it to where, um, you know, the speed of it tends to be okay. Um, it takes some getting used to, but for the most part, you can get some good results quickly. Um, that's good. Um, so then let's maybe see now my palm did, um, select there. So I'm keeping my palm up off the, off the thing. Um, so sometimes with the palm, it's not nearly as good, but four by four and then oh let's change our horizontal interval to eight good and then let's bring this down to four so four eight twelve sixteen twenty three we got one more we can add here we go and we'll center that clear so it doesn't seem to do it as much when, oh, when you are using things like um, the, you know, when you're picking your pathways here. Um, but sometimes it is very sensitive to it. So I think that glove is probably uh, gonna be a good investment if you like to rest your hand on it. Okay, so now we've got, uh, you can kind of see where we're going here. Um, and you can kind of see the speed at which you can, at which you can work. I think it's, um, it's quite a nice tool. Let's see if we can use the pen tool. 
Now that made a fairly smooth looking arc and I find that if I was using the, um, the mouse, I wouldn't get as natural of a stroke on that because I never use the freeform tool. Um, but in this case, I found that it was pretty good. Watch that again. That looks pretty good. I never would have got that kind of a smooth result, I don't think, before with the mouse. Let's try it. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, let's use my mouse. See, I get, I get waves in it. But I use this, and it kind of makes this tool want something I can use. Oh, let me highlight it. Pen tool, or the free form, I should say. It looks like a pencil. And I get a much smoother result. Um, even if I go, you know, a little bit even further up over. So I feel like um, this is kind of a cool, uh, cool trade-off. Um, you know, as opposed to uh, using the mouse. I feel like it feels natural. I think as I get used to it as well, it will um, become something that uh, I look forward to using. So we'll just do this. There we go. Accept. So now you can see we've got, we've been able to create some stuff fairly quickly and get a good result. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.